is going on, Wix Nation? MPS here from Wix Training Academy, and a happy 2021. And to kick off this year, I'm going to show you today how to create Wix databases and dynamic pages, the 2021 edition in Velo by Wix. That's right, not Wix code, not Corvid by Wix, certainly not COVID, but Velo by Wix, Wix's rebranded open source development platform that same one that you guys are very familiar with that revolutionized Wix in the first place and please tell me I don't have to say this because I know you already are but if you haven't already make sure to smash that subscribe button and turn those bell notifications on so you don't miss any content heading into 2021 if you saw my previous video I had mentioned that for 2021 I would like to make this channel purely all series based and that's my goal heading toward the end of January throughout the rest of the year to do purely different series on the channel and you're not going to want to miss that you'll instantly plug into the largest Wix training community on the internet but guess what I think it's time to show you Velo by Wix and how to create databases and dynamic pages let's jump in All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here in our Wix editor. And what we are going to do is create databases and dynamic pages. First and foremost, to even get this started, you need to move up to dev mode and you will now see Velo dev mode and you'll turn on dev mode. This enables the Velo development tools so that way we can actually accomplish what we want to accomplish and get this thing rocking and rolling. Um, so we'll put that back and we'll drop this down and the first thing we're going to do is create a database now I'm not going to show you any particular special functionality or linking them in this video I'm going to show you purely how to create a database how to create a dynamic page from a bare bones perspective because at the end of the day if you can create databases and you can create dynamic pages here in Wix you are ahead of the game and you can create some really really cool functionality with just those two abilities alone so first and foremost to create a database what you're gonna do is you're gonna go down here to content manager and you are going to create new collection and this is then gonna pop up a screen and it's gonna allow you to create a collection now they've actually gotten to the point where they've got some pre-made databases for you such as team projects portfolio news real estate recipe services jobs etc however we're gonna start from a blank slate because I'm teaching you and we are gonna click blank and then what is gonna happen is we have to name this collection we are going to name this collection user profile why we're just going to pretend that we're building out a website where there's user profiles right and we are going to select what this collection is for now you've got a couple different things I've been over this several times over but I'm gonna explain it here for site content this means anyone can view content from this database for form submission that means anyone could submit a form and submit data to this database as long as you have a means for them to do so on your site then you've got site member permissions this stuff gets really cool and you could create some really phenomenal membership only paid membership online course style stuff by utilizing this style of permissions so members generated content means only members of your website can submit and modify content or data in this database members only content means only members on your site can view data and from this database and members only form submission means only members can submit data to this collection on the database and then you've got other permissions like private data this would be like an admin dashboard this is only admins can access this data and then you have custom use I like custom use the best why because if we press custom use we can actually set custom permissions and we can choose who we want to read content from this collection I'm just gonna click anyone who can create I'm just gonna say the admin who can update the admin and who can delete the admin and when you do custom you can actually choose who can read the content from this collection who can create the content who can edit it and who can delete it and I like the capabilities of being able to customize that and now we are going to click set and create collection 
Once we do that, Wix is going to work its Velo magic and it's going to pop up a database for us. This is a blank slate. It's a beautiful thing. It's like a work of art. Now it takes you, Picasso, to touch your paintbrush to the art. What do I mean by that? Well, it's time to come in here and actually create your database. So you see it opens up into a blank database. First and foremost, you'll see over here on the left a title field. This field cannot be deleted, cannot be destroyed, cannot be removed. You don't have to use it for anything if you don't want, or you can use it if you do choose to. I'm going to leave it be. To add a new field to your database, you're going to go ahead and click Add. From this point, what you would do is you would go ahead and add a field name. Now, I'll just say profile name. Here's where the beautiful thing comes into play. For every uh, field name you have, you have a field type. So what this field type means is this allows you to determine the data that's being entered here. Is it text? Is it image? Is it a Boolean? Is it a number? Is it date and time? Is it time alone? Is it rich text, which basically means text that you can, uh, the user can add styling to or you can add styling to in the database? Is it a reference field? Is it a multi-reference field uh, referencing multiple different databases, multiple different pieces of content? A URL, a document, a video, audio, address, tags, an array, an object, or a media gallery. You have the ability to choose any and all of these different field types as you go down the line adding uh, fields to your database. I'm just going to choose text because it's just a profile name and then you would click save. Now you can see uh, you've got your text field added, your profile name added. And what you're going to do is depending on what type of database you're building, you're going to come through here and you're just going to add the according fields that you're going to need that are going to link up to your dynamic pages. So that way, and add the field type associated with them, and then you add them through. Now, a couple other things I want you to be aware of when it comes to uh, databases here on Velo. So you're going to see up here, Sandbox. So there's two different versions of your database. There's a Sandbox version, which is kind of like your playground. Think of it like your playground. This is your raw data that you can include in the editor, and it'll show in preview mode in the editor, and it gives you the ability to see kind of what you're working with and if the changes you're making throughout your database are taking effect and working. That's your raw data. It is not on your live website. So any data in your sandbox that is not sunk over to live is not live on your website. However, you'll also see live. Now, in order for you to add live data, this can come in many different forms. You can either sync your sandbox data over to live, or if your website goes live and you've got like a members generated database, once members start actually adding content to that collection, it'll automatically go to live as long as they're doing it on your live website. And that's how live works. But what I want to show you is if you do want to sync sandbox data over to live, you would simply click sync sandbox to live and then you would sync it. Then over here, you actually have the ability to import items straight into your database. This could save you time depending on what type of database, like a whole recipe Excel spreadsheet you have, import it right in. Or export it. Maybe you want to run data analysis on all of the data collected in your database. You can export it. You can edit your settings, and then you can even add new line items. So this is, allows you to add a title and the profile name to your fields here. So it allows you to add items to your database. That, my friends, is how you actually create and start your database here in Wix. That's the database. The next thing I want to show you, and by the way, if you guys would like a much further deep dive analysis, I've done other videos on this on my channel that you can go check out. I've done several series where I dive deep on databases and dynamic pages. But I want to show you the bare bones on how you start them and get them set up. Because from there, there's a lot of personal touches and customization that'll change depending on what you're looking to create. But at least having that uh, bare bone knowledge is important. Remember, you can teach a man to fish or you can feed him a fish. Now, I prefer to be taught how to fish so I can go and do it and change it and replicate it and teach others the same thing, right? As the old adage goes. Now, when it comes to dynamic pages, we've got our database created. There's a couple different ways we can add a dynamic page. We can go to our content manager. This is the easiest. Now, when you're creating a dynamic page, your dynamic page is basically creating dynamic content 
from your database. So whatever database you want to create a dynamic page off of, like user profile, essentially what would happen is your dynamic page will contain one user profile on each dynamic page. But this doesn't take up static page storage on your website. So you can literally have thousands, millions of dynamic pages that are dynamic and don't take up static page storage on your site. To do this, you're going to go to the right of your user profile collection. You're going to click these three little dots and you're going to click add a dynamic page or add a blank dynamic page. Doesn't really matter. I'm going to click add a dynamic page and then Wix, Velo by Wix, it's going to work its magic and it's going to provide you just a blank standard dynamic page. Okay. And you're going to see it right here. It gives you already everything loaded up. So it already gives you your data set, it already gives you my items, and it gives you um, a few different elements on here. In fact, you know what, I don't even think, I, I don't even want to show you that way because it already gives you too much. I want to show you from scratch. So if we go back here and we click add a blank dynamic page, I'm going to show you from scratch because again, I think it already gave you plenty. Now when you go here, what you're going to see is your data set adding. This is your dynamic data set. What I want you to think of your data set as is it's the glue between the data in your database and your dynamic page. It's like the portal of what allows your data to go through onto your dynamic page. If you click settings on this data set, you'll see it's already since we pulled it straight from that collection and added a dynamic page straight from the collection, it's already linked up to our user profile database and we've already got it on read only. Now read only means that only content can be displayed on this page. If you choose read and write, content can actually be changed or modified on this page. This is good for like members only, uh, you know, forums, stuff like that where you can have it be read and write so that way people can read it and or edit it. So we're going to choose read only and numbers to display. We're going to choose one. There's one profile per page. Now here's what you would do. Um, what you need to do is you actually need to create a, a way for content to be displayed. So if we go to add, we're going to go ahead and go to text and we're just going to click add heading. And what we're going to do here is we're going to have our heading represent our name. You know how we created profile name in the database? We're going to add our name here. So what we have to do is we have to connect this element and we'll just change this to profile name. We now have to connect this element to our data set to our database. So we would press connect to data and then this connects to this data set user profile item and text connects to profile name. This is where we match the text or whatever it is image to the field we're associating it with in the database. So we'll associate it with profile name. It says it was successfully connected to a collection. Now, if we save this, I'm going to save it so I can show you how this works. Database work. Bam. We're going to save that. All right, guys. So it was successfully connected to the data. And then all you have to do from that point is if you go back into your content manager, you can go ahead and start adding data to your database. And then you can watch it in action on your dynamic pages. And that, my friends, is how you create a database and dynamic page here in Velo by Wix. Again, if you would like me to do deeper dives or you would like to see the previous deep dives I did in the previous years on how to create a Wix database and dynamic page, go ahead and go back to my channel and check it out. I've got a bunch of resources on there that can help you out. But if this video helped you out and you got the base foundation of creating a database and dynamic page here in Wix, I want you to go ahead and drop a like down below. Comment and let me know if you enjoyed this video and what type of series that you would like to see on the channel heading into 2021. And lastly, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and turn those bell notifications on because 2021, I'm bringing the heat and you're going to want to be here on the channel so that way you propel your website to the next level and I equip you with the most value and all the tools you need to enable you to do that. 
and you'll instantly join the largest Wix training community on the internet. Guys, I'm ready to bring this community to 100,000 people, 100,000 subscribers, this community here in 2021, and I need your help to make that happen. I know we're gonna do it. I already feel it. I've envisioned it. I know it's gonna happen, but I need your help to do that. I appreciate you guys so much for watching, and just as a, uh, another reference, so you, once you've got the base database and dynamic pages down, you can now manipulate these things so much. You can add pictures, you can add rich text, you can add galleries, you can do all these different things on your dynamic pages as long as it's a field that connects to the database and you can pull data from the database and display it on the page. It opens up a world of opportunity for you. But thank you guys so much again for watching this video. I'll catch you on our next one.